Hi guys, it's Jason here. So today I'm going to change my oil and filter. I've been doing some light reading and I've read that when your bike goes into storage, it should have fresh oil in it. So my bike doesn't really get used over the winter period. So today I'm going to change my oil and filter. So this video will cover the winter oil change and the 6,000 mile oil change as well. Enjoy guys. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to get my bike off the drip charger, get it all ready. I'm going to start it, let it run, get it nice and warm and that will then allow the oil to flow freely when we remove the sun plug. Okay, so that's the bike nice and warm. So first things first is this panel here. We need to remove that. There's a little bolt here, bolt here, bolt around the side and another one around the side. And that will allow us to get to the oil filter and it will allow us to get to the sump plug a little bit easier as well. So here it goes. Guard removed. As you can see, we can now get to the oil filter, which is just under there. And we've got the sump plug, which is here. So what we'll do first is we will just remove the filler cap. Okay, filler cap removed. And that will allow the oil to flow nice and freely at the bottom. So next thing we're gonna do is remove the sun plug. nice and warm oil so we warmed up the engine well awesome that's why you wear gloves optional extra okay next job just while the oil is draining it looks like it's almost done now anyway we can remove the oil filter so this is where you will need your oil filter removal tool and a new filter I bought is this one. I just thought I'd buy a chrome one just because no reason really. Just thought it looks better. Anyway, let's get it on. Okay, that's the old filter off. Here's a new one. What we do, we just get a little bit of oil from the old filter and just rub it round the outside of the new one just to create a nice new seal. So there's a massive debate online about whether the oil filter should be hand tight or tighten it with a tool. So I'm going to do hand tight, but if anyone begs to differ, whoever watches this video, please leave a comment and next time I do it, I'll maybe take that on board. Okay. Now we're going to put the sump plug back on. Now it's always recommended to use a brand new sump plug washer every single time you remove the sump plug. So here's my new one, that's it going on and that will hopefully safeguard any leakage.
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the new oil in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up, keep an eye on the old window, and when it gets to about halfway, I'll start the bike up, let it resettle, and probably need to top it up a little bit more. Okay, so we've got the bike on between the minimum and maximum on the window, so right halfway. So I'm just going to start the bike, let it run, let the oil circulate, and we'll see if it needs any more. Okay, so we were in the middle and we've gone back down right to the minimum now, so we've got to put some more oil in and get it back to the middle. So I've started the bike up again, it's all perfect, right on the maximum level. So all we need to do now is we need to put our sump guard back on and um, jobs are good. In. Okay, that's the bike all back together, so that is an oil and oil filter change on a Honda Varadero. Everything's all back together how it should be. So the tools you need, you don't really need that many tools, you need a, um, a funnel, an oil filter removal tool, 12mm socket, a couple of allen keys, Phillips screwdriver, oil filter and the oil itself, I went for the Shell Advanced fully synthetic oil, which I got a really good deal on that on eBay, so anyone who wants the oil, look on eBay, nice and cheap. Cheers guys, thanks for watching and I hope this helps. Bye bye.